Okay. We have fabrics here from the northern Philippines and the southern Philippines. Okay. <laughs> the ones here are from the Helena tribe. This is a woman's skirt. Oh, it's really beautiful. It's a skirt with nautilus shell, and then this is the belt. We traditionally have the belt. Okay. So this is from the northern Philippines up in the mountains, the Helena tribe. This would be a chief and blanket because it has stars on it. That only the chieftain gets the stars. Okay. This is also from the northern Philippines. It's called the Inabel weave because it has the white on white. So this is actually big enough to be a bedspread. This is from the Tinguian tribe in Ilocos in Luzon, in the northern Philippines. <laughs> if we go back this way, this is the Binacol weave, um, which is, and this is again a three panel blanket. They, they weave them in strips and then they put them together. So this is Binacol, this is cotton. And this one is in a bell because it has the, um, the embroidery mm -hmm. on the cotton, on, you know, very fine cotton. This is also from Northern Luzon. This one is from the tribe, uh, the Kalinga tribe also. This is actually a, a blanket. It's a little bit more uh, geometric. Wow. Okay. And then we go over here. We're now in the southern Philippines. This is from the Taboli tribe, which is in South Cotabato, in Mindanao. And this is made of avaca. And tinalak is made, and it's not supposed to be cut, because it's sacred cloth. Oh. Okay, it's dyed with natural dyes. This one is a malong, which is the same as this. It's a, a tube skirt, okay. which can be used as a dress. Um, this particular pattern was created, it's called the, the makabinba. Maka Makabinban pattern. It was created for the Princess Regent because the Sultan of Magindanao um, passed away uh -huh. and he did not have any male heirs. So the Princess Regent ruled him for 10 to 12 years uh, until an heir was apparent. Okay. <laughs> the Yakan tribe in Basilan, which is down in the very south, south, south part of the Philippines, um, Yakan. Uh, were some of the first ones to do weaving for the tourist trade because American cruise ships went down to the Zamboanga and Basilan area. Okay. So they started to do this for the tourist trade. These two are also malongs, which are two dresses. This one has a pattern that the panel is normally put on the back. Okay. You wear this in the back. And so at the front you would see this part. Right? They just wrap it around you. And this one also is... See, this one is Andong, this is Rawatan, which is the village, the name of the village. And another two skirt. So you can see that there's quite a variety of pattern, um, a variety of, of color, a bit of a variety of color, but definitely a variety of pattern. Um, they don't do uh, anything that represents a person. In the southern Philippines, they don't put anything that represents a person. So you'll, you see all of these natural patterns. Okay. Thank okay. you, Feline. Thank you okay. for uh, this tour on Philippine fabrics, and they're really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.